I wanted to look about the benefits of, of sharing in this. And I think the benefits are, are many. First and foremost is that sharing um, enables us to create and improve relationships. And because we are public, we get to meet and link to other people. Now, you can sit in your room all day, and no one should force you out of that room. But if you do, you don't know what you're missing. Right? You come here this morning, you sit at a table, you are in public, you meet other people. Benefits come from that. It's the same as the internet. The internet is virtual tables. And we meet other people, and we connect with them, and we link with them, and things come out of that. You don't have to do any of that. You don't have to share. You don't have to show your face. But when you do, you can make relationships. And out of those relationships come great things. And we are social by nature. And that's what is enabled by this. Publicness, I think, leads to trust, especially for companies and governments. We can talk about that more later. Uh, it leads to, very importantly, collaboration. And the ability to, 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 because we are working together, we can collaborate. We were talking earlier about science being open. And the fact that scientists can now share their information, this is why the internet was invented, was to share their information more, more fluidly and instantly and find each other and find more information leads to an explosion. Back to Gutenberg. You know, the, the, the printing press enabled, before the printing press, scholars had to go to the books. After the printing press, the books could go to the scholars. Before the printing press, you didn't have the ability to so easily compare knowledge and information. After the printing press, you could put two books next to each other and see what was new. And, and, and it led to the flowering of the scientific uh, revolution. So publicness leads to collaboration. There's a company called uh, Local Motors that uh, is trying to build uh, cars publicly, design them publicly, and it's doing that. It, it has a, a design called the um, Rally Fighter, a muscle car they're making at a micro factory in, 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 in Arizona. And um, the pub, they hold public competitions for the design of the car. For this car, a young man, 20 years old, won the competition, got $20,000. And then the, the community uh, designs elements of the car together. Now, the CEO of the company, Jay Rogers, is still in charge of putting out a safe car and a financially viable product. Uh, he's still the CEO. But this input from this community is incredibly valuable. My favorite story about this was that someone designed a taillight lens for the car that the community loved. Oh, we must have it. And Jay said, OK, but I looked into it. I have to tool up to make that part specially. It will add $1,000 to the price of every car. And the community said, never mind. <laughs> and they went through a list of other parts, and they settled on a $75 Honda taillight lens. And I would never know it's from Honda. It's designed in beautifully. What amazes me about that was that the community of customers, and there can be such a thing, was making design and economic decisions in collaboration with each other and with the company. Given the opportunity, given the tools, and given the respect to do so, that can only happen because the design happened in public. Publicness, I think, disarms the notion of a stranger. When you meet each other in public, you start to know somebody else. I've met people around the world from Iran and Iraq and China, thanks only to the internet, people I never would have met otherwise. Publicness, also, I think, also disarms the stigma. The greatest weapon that gays and lesbians in this country had, I believe, was their publicness. I want to emphasize here that I'm not suggesting that anyone should be dragged out of their closet. But those who chose to go out of the closet and stand in public and say, we're gay, you got a problem with that? As we say in New Jersey. Um, forced the bigots back. They, they destigmatized this issue and said, what's the big deal? So, so the secret you made us keep all these years shouldn't be a secret, isn't a secret now, so now what? And I think it's led to this flowering of tolerance. So I see all these incredible benefits of being public.